This video is sponsored by Fast Travel Games. Hey Ty here, so welcome to the VRTech channel. So Fast Travel Games actually asked me if I could show you again Vampire the Masquerade Justice because guess what? It just arrived on PC two days ago and you can get it right now 20% off limited time on Steam. This is an action stealth RPG set in Venice in the world of Vampire the Masquerade, of course, with stealth, cool abilities and of course the usual vampire blood sucking. The game is now available on Steam VR, so with pretty much every headset using the platform. I'm gonna use the Quest 3 this time because, well, I had to disassemble my Beyond uh, to fix the lenses. Of course, the standalone version is still available on Quest if you want to try it there too. Oh, by the way, I have two codes for Wrath the Oblivion Afterlight for Quest. They're gonna appear during the gameplay, don't worry, I'm not gonna spoil anything. Also, my voice gets a bit lower at the end of the video because I kind of get in the mood of like very moody stuff, uh, so please understand. But yeah, let's get in the masquerade. Justice on PC. I'm smiling, you can see it. And here we're back in Vampire the Masquerade Justice. I'm actually so happy to try this game again because I kind of left it in the middle of my playthrough with the quest because I knew that the PC VR version was coming. And here we are in all its glory with, you know, some dated graphics to actually make everything look so much crisper and so much better. By the way, yes, it looks better, but it really did a great job also on the standalone version. Uh, let's check the quality. Let's be sure that we have everything on max, set a resolution from one to five. That should be plenty. And uh, let's start a new game. Let's go. Your local leaders, they're afraid to stir the pot. Maybe something unseemly floats to the surface. It's all politics, of course. Why commit to something today that might bite you in the ass tomorrow? Of course, if it's your first time hearing about it, this game, as you can see, is all set in Venice, Italy, and it looks so freaking moody. And right now, with these graphics, it looks even better. All right. I actually love how fluid this game feels uh, for the parkour. Here we go. You see, oh, they finally fix the bug where you could actually grab it in the right way. Let's open it up. This is the coolest. <laughs> nice mask, dude. I have this mask actually. It's over there. <laughs> supposed to. Oh yeah, by the way, this game is brutal. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Is anything happening? Oh yeah. Someone is having a snack. I really love this uh, Gears of War style. The uh, sucking, <laughs> the reloading. Because mood everything fills. All right, I love it. Let's go. Okay. Oh, there's no coffee. Nessun segnale. Also, it's kind of an RPG when we have different abilities that we can use, so we can become I'll invisible. I'll just keep on we getting are the work use done. Blood for it, so you know, we can replenish it. Also, we can eat threats. Punch! Punch! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it looks so good. The cool thing at the replayability here is off the chart because of course you out. can play like stealth oh, or you can just kill everyone as you want. So you can interact with different objects, that's very cool. Hello. Doo -doo. Also, if you do like that, the body will disappear, as you can see. And yeah, this is our hideout. Hi, Peter. Nice to see you back. And uh, yeah, here's the, where we get our abilities, where we find all the collectibles. Let's say it's a central hub for everything. Welcome to my humble haven. Yeah. Yeah, as you can see here, we have all our abilities. And of course, we have to progress to actually get better. I like this approach to the menu, very similar to like Fable 2, if you remember. Maybe it was Fable 3 when uh, you had like 
your own area where you go to to actually upgrade everything and such. Also, Venice is not that big. You can really walk everywhere. So it kind of makes sense to have a, a central hub of where to start for different missions. It's actually very realistic. Can't wait to get home when the shift's over. Hey, guys. Fuck. I guess we're not going home, huh? Go. Ouch. Can I kill it like that? I'll cover this. No, no you <laughs> darn it. Straight it. No. A bit less. Come on, almost. Oh, I'm so tired of this shit. No. I'll go take a look. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> I'll look over here. Sorry, dude. Show me. Down. Never been here. Bye. Cosa è successo a questa città? What happened to this city? Why am I worth nothing? Monsters. Well, here it's missing an apostrophe because it's cost. Apostrophe E, you know? Whatever. Let's go. You don't look like you're from around here. I really don't have time for this. Tell me what you have, and then we'll talk about compensation. It's a phone. Anna and Rossa are talking, and... Uh... Oh. oh, shit! Uh, you're one of them! Oh, get, get away from me! Oh, fuck this! All right, let's get them. Come on, come on, come on, come on! to run, didn't you? you? Yeah? What do you want? I'm just calling to see how you feel today, sister. Knock her over the head and tie her up somewhere so she gets a real good look at the sun. Kind of an iPhone, maybe. isn't it? <laughs> cameras. That would be but glorious. No. I'm yeah. serious. We oh, need to do something about her. There? Maybe we should talk to Tommaso. His phone. He could set her straight. Oh, yeah. To enjoy this. The cool thing about this game, by the way, there's a very compelling story. I won't spoil it, of course, for you, uh, but it's just fun to play through it and discover what's actually happening. So it's not like the usual like little game, uh, like we unfortunately usually get in VR. It's very deep and fun. Uh, with a lot of like different characters that we interact with. So yeah, it's, a, it's for sure a very cool thing to try. Also, there are so many collectibles around, so you know, uh, you get to the point where you're gonna replay it just to find all secrets that you didn't find prior. And like, go around as much as possible because everything looks very, very cool. And you know, like, your place like this really reminds me of Dishonored in this moment. Like the sewers in that game. <laughs> we got a beer, buddy. And it's just super cool to explore and go around and, uh, you know. Also, some of these like 
you know, puzzles in the environment to actually play around and progress in the story. Here we have it. I feel like I killed enough people today and I got enough blood and uh, yeah, would I recommend this game as I was recommending it on the quest. I for sure recommend it also on PC because you know the graphics are just that bit better and more enjoyable because of that. You know, PC is gonna hold it with better graphics, maybe very crisp. If you just have the quest, like, you're not missing out much. You know, the style of the game is very particular, so you're gonna enjoy it no matter what. But for sure, you know, PC, like, it does look better. Lights are better, shadows are better. Everything feels a bit less flat and more moody. I, I wish it was, like, that tiny bit more darker. I didn't find any option to actually change it. Uh, but I feel like this game needs to dark like it just sets the tone so much it all came to an end 15 years ago when I... <laughs> this is awesome this is the right way to finish the video by the way <laughs> it's just sleeping watching tv so cute <laughs> i just love this kind of easter eggs in games well we're set and here we have it, this was Vampire the Masquerade Justice on PC VR. Do I recommend it? As I said, yes, absolutely. I really had a fun with this in standalone. I'm gonna have more fun on PC VR. I actually played for like four hours already. This was just a little part of it. Hey, thanks again to Fast Travel Game for sponsoring this video and making this possible. It really helps also for this guy over here. That's a Vision Pro. They're actually making a mod to play PC VR games on it. I wanted to play with that one, but it's not ready yet. So maybe we're gonna see something soon. Stay tuned on the channel because we're gonna see more about it. But anyway, guys, as always, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like it, please like. Subscribe to the channel for more of VR tech. If you really love the channel, join the button there. Click the on further. Also, the Patreon. Thanks to all the patrons who join the channel, of course. And I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.